Hey everyone, my name is RC and I'm a Photoshop expert, author, educator, and photographer looking to make myself stand out with the images that I make. To do this, I print on aluminum with Image Wizards. The images that I print here have an incredible quality to them. It feels kind of like 3D popping out of the frame. The durability is second to none and the customer service is just top notch. The images on my and my clients' walls look like windows into another world and that leaves an impression that is extremely hard to beat. Now, I wanted to share with you some information that will help you take the guesswork out of your process and get the very best prints from Image Wizards. Today, we're gonna to talk about how to make sure that the colors that you see inside of Lightroom are great and match the colors that you're going to see from your print at Image Wizards. Now, they make phenomenal choices for colors and they're really, really good at getting the very best out of pictures, but it's probably a good idea that you get involved in the process from the very beginning so that you have a good idea of what it's going to look like when it's gonna come out. Now, to do that, you need to kind of understand a little bit of what it looks like in terms of color spaces. And color spaces, a lot of the times, are almost kind of like crayons, right? So imagine if all of a sudden I told you that you're gonna you know, paint a picture and you're gonna paint that picture using a thousand crayons. Well, the picture that you make is going to be very nuanced in terms of colors because you have a thousand crayons for you to work with. So the amount of crayons or the amount of colors that you have inside of a space is known as a gamut, right? And that's the available color range that you have. Usually, something in Lightroom usually uses a pro photo color space, which is the largest color space that you could see. Now, a smaller subset of that, so let's just say 500 crayons would be a smaller range of color, right? You probably would produce beautiful pictures, but not at the extreme edges of colors that you would do with a thousand. So a smaller color space like that could be something like Adobe RGB 1998, which is another common color space that you see. Now, the last one would be something that you would see the most common, which is sRGB. And a lot of the times you see that for like web stuff. That would be something like you know, 300 colors or 200 colors. The color space is a lot more limited in comparison. And this is just a 35,000 generalization. You don't have to know all of the details. You just have to know that Pro Photo has the widest amount of color. Then after that, it's Adobe 1990, 1998. And then after that, it's sRGB, the smallest amount of color. So when you're working in Lightroom, you could be working with a larger color space, but Image Wizards uses Adobe 1998 you want to make sure that when you make that transition from bigger to smaller that you don't lose a lot of those colors. And it's going to be at the very edges, but you want to have that control. And it's easy. Inside of here, inside of the Develop module, right? what I want you to do is I want you to go to View. And under View, there's a section called Soft Proofing. Go inside of there and select Show Proof. And it's just the letter S. From here, you're going to notice that on the right-hand side right here, it says Profile. And the profile is something that you can pick, right? So there's profiles for printers and there's profiles for different displays. That's gonna be something there, but there's your two profiles, sRGB that you see, you're working in Profoto, and Adobe RGB 1998. So if you select sRGB, now what this is doing is it's showing you a proof preview. So it's saying this is what it would look like if you converted this into sRGB. And you have a section over here that says, this right here is your gamut warning. So it shows you the limits of your monitor, and this guy shows you the limits, right? Your gamut warnings for your destination, or in this case, Adobe RGB. So if you have this unchecked, you don't see anything. But if you click on it, it shows you these warning markers here that says these areas here could have a problem when you switch over to Adobe RGB. Do you want to make some changes? Or in this case, sRGB. So what I would do is I'm going to switch to Adobe RGB. Notice that there's less problems because there's more colors for it to work with, but there are still some problems here. Now it's your job to turn around and go, well, I, I kind of don't mind that, or I kind of think that this would be a problem. I don't, I don't like that. And you want to make some adjustments, exposure adjustments, color adjustments hue saturation adjustments, something that's going to get rid of these warnings. Now, this picture is tuned for your monitor and you like the way that it looks. So let's just say right now, I know that this is going to be a vibrance issue, right? I think it's just a little oversaturated and I'm going to bring down my vibrance. Once I bring that down just a tiny bit, notice that those warnings go away and I'm going to let it go. 
The moment that I do that, it's telling me, listen, do you want to create a virtual copy for soft proofing? And what this means is you can make a copy of the picture and have it inside of Lightroom. It's a virtual copy, so it's not a real copy, but you at least have a side-by-side -side comparison. One of them is the one that you're used to using on a screen that you can see that looks good, and the other one is the one that you have adjusted to be able to send out as a print. I like doing that because I don't want to mess with my original picture. So once I have that set, I'm going to select Create Proof Copy. So this guy is going to be my proof that I'm going to send out to Image Wizards, and then this guy is going to be the one that I'm going to keep for my own tuning. Now, the colors are very, very subtle. The changes between the two are extremely subtle, but at least you have that level of control about what you want to see with that. From here, right-click, export, export this out. Make sure that you export it with a specific name. Make sure that you export it as a TIFF. Make sure that it's exported as Adobe RGB. Make sure that it's exported at 240 pixels per inch and select export. Once you've done that, make sure you go back into Image Wizards, set up your order, and go through the order process. Set up your size, make sure you choose your frame for the actual print. I love frame to edge, I think it looks great. You already know how I feel about white ultra gloss, so that's good. Wire mount is security mount, but again, I always wanna make sure, go get the proof. For the $25 that you spend, you get an actual proof of color, you get a proof of detail, and then you can make sure that this investment is going to look beautiful. Once you go through that process, upload, add to cart, and you're good to go. I guarantee you, you're gonna get some beautiful pictures from Image Wizards. My name is RC, thanks for watching.